Okay, hello guys. Uh, today we are going to learn how to use the Rhino command, which is called Array on Curve. Now this is a great tool because you can create some really cool geometries. And we are going to look at a project that I did. Uh, this is basically uh, a chandelier in an office space. And uh, I do a lot of cruise ship uh, work with Royal Caribbean. And basically it's a geometry and you can see that it's arrayed around uh, this framework. So we'll, we'll teach this command, which is, which is a really funky command and it could really help. And you can create some really cool geometries. So this is how it looks. And then let's start from the beginning. So I'm gonna start. I usually like to work in millimeters because that's uh, the units I, I normally work on. So let's look at the picture. So I will drag this photograph. So let us first draw this profile. So let's go into the front view. I'm going to just sort of freehand this thing. I'm going to draw something here, here. I'm going to use my curve interpolate. Let me take off. I'm going to draw my line here. I'm going to trim these lines. I will draw a little circle here. Let me move this up. Let me trim this line. Let me offset this because this is going to be basically the, the light tube. I'm going to select all of these right here, join it, get out of the front view. Let's see. Oops, let me just hide this. Okay, so here is the view. So I'm going to draw the, the framework. So I'm going to use this command circle diameter. I'm going to just, just eyeball it here. I want to offset this. Let me put 10. Yep. So this is going to be the framework. I'm going to offset this again. But this time, this will be the second structural member. So maybe I'll put it at 35 and then offset this by 10. I'm going to copy this to go underneath. So you can see I have the two structural members that are holding it in place. Let me make this into a surface. Let me go into the shaded mode. Now I want to offset this surface to be the size of a substrate. So I want it to be 10 millimeters. So I'm going to make this distance 5. And then I'm going to click on both sides so that both sides are 5. And this is the geometry. So I am going to go to the array on curve and you can see it's the first thing that pops up. It says select objects to array. I'm going to select this. I hit enter, select the path curve. So I'm just going to hit this. Now it's been defaulted to the distance of 55. So the 55 is showing me this geometry, but I kind of want to make it a little bit more uh, dense. So I'm going to change the distance Let's see what happens when I put 35. Now this is a little bit better looking, so I'm going to hit enter. And I got this. Now if I undo this, I can still, I can use this command in different ways. So let me array the curve, select this, select the path. Now I can actually manipulate this by selecting the items. Before I was selecting the distance and you can see that the distance is being uh, 
uh, is the default. So if I hit items, let's see how it looks with 55 items. You can see that there is uh, 55 items. But here's the thing, if I, if I put a distance of 55, you can see there's a little bit of, a, of an odd uh, distance from here to here because it's, it's dividing it by 55, but at the last interval, it can't seem to get it equidistant. So if you want to have this perfectly symmetrical thing, I would suggest manipulating the items. So let's say for the items, let's put 85. And you can see by manipulating the items, you always have something more equidistant and it's it's better. But for the but it's good to play around with the distance. Let's say I want 35 because I like the density. You have this odd condition, but it's telling me 129 images are being generated. So what I can do is I'm gonna hit escape, get out of the command, I'm gonna type it again, click click on that and I'm for the items I'm going to put 129 and you can see it's been perfectly symmetrically uh, distilled. So I can just complete this uh, model. I'm going to make this light tube so I'm going to hit sweep one. This is going to be my rail and this is going to be my section. I'm going to make the structural framework so I'm going to hit loft I'm going to do the same for here. I'm going to do the same for the bottom pieces. Whoops. I'm going to do the same for this. And I will offset this surface. I want to offset it the distance by 10. Uh, I will turn off the both sides. My arrows are pointing the right way. I'm gonna do the same for here. And as you can see, this looks very similar to the light chandelier that I designed. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.